Hello everybody, this is Rich Sis Bidiz, and I just want to share some thoughts on spirituality. As you guys know, I have some videos on spirituality, and I just want to share some thoughts that I've been uh, thinking about for a few years and just kind of refined. And I want to share them with you right now. So uh, just, just listen up. It's going to be very entertaining. Thank you. Now, I'm not trying to put nothing down, spirituality down. This is just truth. This is just my theories, my ideas. And I want to get them out for you guys and with you guys to get a better understanding of life itself, okay? A lot of mediums don't tell you the truth about how it is kind of our fault that we come here to live. That we choose to live the lives that we live. That we choose to live in the problems that we experience. The mediums don't tell the people that they're reading that it's basically their fault. That they came to witness the death of a son or, or the mother. The, the mediums know because after hearing from Matt Frazier and John Edwards and from other mediums saying that we choose to come to live, well, the thing is, though, is that they don't tell you directly that you chose to come to experience those things. That basically it's all on us. It's all our fault. Every life that we live has constants. Every life that we live has a lot of things that remain the same. And these constants are the raindrops on the skin, the sun on the skin, the wind blowing on the skin, feeling hate, feeling love, feeling confusion, feeling desperation. Those things remain the same throughout all of any life that you choose to live. And it doesn't matter if you're an animal or if you're a person. There's constants that remain the same in every life. And that's the mediums. That's what the mediums don't say. Or maybe some of them do or they know, but they don't talk. I, I never heard of them say anything about it. And because there's these constants, um, we should be satisfied with our previous life and not feel the need to come to live. Because every life is going to have these constants. And that every day we feel the sun. Every day we feel the rain. Every day we feel the wind. Those constants are always there. And that there's only fractional differences in each life. There's only fractional differences. And I came up with a, with a, um, a theory that, that may or may not be real or not. But um, it has to do with um, when we die and we look at all our lives that we lived, we're going to see those constants there. They're all going to be connected. The sun, the love, the pain. The, the imagery and the emotion and feelings, those constants are going to appear and they're all going to be the same. We're going to see all of them connect because of that. One thing that I've been thinking about that I believe is just a little bit of a little issue is that, is that when we come to live, we are not solving the problems that were there before us. In actuality, we might actually be, when we come to live as spirits, to live as humans, we might actually be bringing more issues. The other, the other, th uh, the reason why I think of this is because as spirits, we choose to pick a certain personality, a certain character, to have certain uh, foibles and certain issues, and we choose a family and a mother and father that has certain things like mental illnesses and certain traits that pass on to us. We choose this. And these are challenges for us to overcome. That's what the mediums say. This is the problem. Is that when a person is unsatisfied with their life, even though they chose that life, even though they chose it, when they become unsatisfied, because when we're born, we, we have amnesia. We, we forget where we're from. We forget about the afterlife. That's how it works. That's how we learn. So like, when a person is born and they're unsatisfied with the life, they become disgruntled because, they're, because their father is a drug addict or an alcoholic. They become disgruntled because they're poor. And when they get older, what happens? They take it out on others. They become bullies. And that's why I say that the spirits come to come and learn to be different people, to experience different things. But then, because they come in in um, amnesia and they forget where they're from, they forget that they have to that 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 they, they, they have to overcome these challenges. They become disgruntled and angry because they have to go through these things and they take it out. They become sociopaths, they become psychopaths. They become uh, molesters and rapists. 
uh, killers, bullies in school, and then they pass on the hate. All because the spirit forgot where they're from. They chose that life, and now they're taking it out on others. That's why there's problems. Because the spirits, you know, this is the thing, is that is that they have to have respect for the living. You can choose a life to come and live. Yes, maybe it's very wonderful. Yes, maybe the mundane life is good. Maybe it is good. But you're taking a risk on inflicting emotional distress or physical distress on others by coming to live. What you need to do is live just one life. And you have lived them all. One life is all that you need to live. All you need to do is do it once and you've done it all. You've done it all. You don't need to keep on repeating the same thing. You don't need to keep on doing that. You see, the thing is, though, is that I hope that this reality and this uh, world that we live in is the final end. That we all wake up eventually, spiritually, we wake up and we realize that our relatives are still alive, our dead relatives are still alive and all this stuff. And the best thing to do is just to have a grand finale. A final, final end to having to live lives. Because, let me tell you this. You do not need to live to live. You don't need to be alive in order to be alive. You are alive whether you're alive in the living or in the dead. You exist whether you are here or you're not. You don't need to live in order to live. You don't need to live in order to live. You are living. You are alive. You exist. There is no point to go through the repetitiveness of having to come back again. That's what the spirits need to realize. The thing is though is that you do not need to be here in order to be here. You do not need to see and feel in order to see and feel. What you need, what the spirits need to do is to be. As long as, no matter where they are, in any dimension, in any uh, alternate reality, in any psychosis that they choose, any alternate life, uh, uh, living lifestyle, spiritual lifestyle, whatever, all what they need to do is just to be. Wherever they are, whichever location in the universe, living or dead, you do not need to be in order to be. You must, you just need to be. As long as you know who you are, wherever you are, that is my friend is living you are alive when you be you are comfortable with who you are regardless of where you are you need to be who you are whether or not you're here or you're on the other side you just need to be you you do not need to live in order to be you can be and not live which means you don't need to be in the living in order to be. Know who you are. Be secure of who you are. It's like this. Back in the, the, old, the old days, they used to do torture, torturing people. They missed their homes. You know, people would kidnap, you know. Back in the day, people would get kidnapped and all this stuff. And they would spend years of being uh, tortured in these locations. And the thing is that these people learned is that as long as you are con um, confident and strong in yourself wherever you are whichever location in the world you are as long as you know who you are you are okay you are fine as long as you are secure and you're confident and you are content of self whether you're you're in Afghanistan or in America being tortured or not you have to know you be who you are spirits be content of your life please have mercy on the living do not bring any more troubles be content and stay away the sad truth about all of life itself living or dead is that there is no problem that's the problem there's nothing happening Nothing's going on. The thing is that we have to create scenarios and situations in order for there to be scenarios and situations to be solved. That's sad. It's like a psychopath being locked in a room 
trying to create imaginary worlds and talking to himself. That's what spirits in life itself is. Sad. We had no rivals or nemesis. All we have is ourselves.